In this project, we explored how to train conversational agents with language models like GPT-2. OpenAI's GPT-2 is a language model, so it tries to predict the probability of the next word given all the previous words it's seen. And it does really well on a lot of NLP tasks. Conversational agents, or chatbots, try to respond to text messages. But you can see that chatbots today have a number of issues, such as repetitiveness, and just going in circles. So our idea was, what if we combined a powerful language model like GPT-2 with large chat data sets? Maybe we could train a much better chat model. First, we used a personal chat history data set. We extracted nine years of Facebook chats and five years of iMessages from one of the author's personal chat accounts. We also used a Reddit data set, a January 2015 snapshot of 53 million comments. So we fine-tuned the small GPT-2 model. So that's 12 layers and 124 million parameters. Our quantitative metric that we used was perplexity. From this table, you can see that the model that was fine-tuned on the chat data set performs better than the raw OpenAI model on the same data set. And it's a similar story for the Reddit data set. Now let's look at some samples from the personal chat history model. Here we see the original GPT-2 model prompted with the author saying, want to go on an adventure? And the model fills it in with various adventure related things. But on the bottom, we see the fine-tuned model, which produces adventure ideas that are specific to the author. The author really likes to talk about camera gear. So the model learns to talk about cameras. In this example, the model debates the merits of two non-existent cameras. The model also knows how to use emoji, although it doesn't necessarily use the correct emoji in all situations. In this case, it ends a positive sounding comment, which says, have fun with a crying emoji. Now, sometimes the model does switch topics abruptly in the middle of a conversation. So for example, the first three messages here relate to biking in Lake Tahoe, but then the last message switches to a party. Now let's look at some samples from Reddit. So we can see that the model is able to produce Reddit comments that look sort of like what you would see on Ask Reddit. In this case, the user died last night and it's hosting an AMA. So to recap, we explored ways to advance conversational agent performance by using GPT-2 on large chat datasets. In the future, one could explore training larger models of GPT-2 or looking at the control model, which allows you to condition on message metadata such as whether the conversation is a group chat or not. The code is available at this link.